Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam Negi and in this video we will be talking about Windows 11 and specifically we will talk about bill number 21996. Now, uh, before we start, we require to create an ISO file. I will keep the link of this ISO file in the description of the video so that you can download it directly from Mega. After you download this ISO file, you need to create a bootable drive if you want to install it natively. But I would recommend you to install uh, it in VMware or in or virtual machine. So that because this is the initial build and maybe this could be the part of Microsoft continuous build. But let me just quickly show you how you can install it. If you want to install it in the native machine, then you require some tool for example Berlin Etcher so you can download this tool from this site I will also keep the link of this website in the description of this video and from here you can download the setup file in my particular case uh, I am interested uh, to test this Windows 11 bit in 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 VMware so I will not install directly to my system so if you want to install it natively you can download it and uh, the process is pretty straightforward we just need to select image and you need to select the drive and you need to flash your drive so as you can see here the animation tells the whole story if you have any issue or any problem then do let me know in comment down below and I will uh, share my video where I have explained the process of creating bootable drive after you have successfully created your bootable drive What we require to do is just insert that bootable drive to your USB in my particular case I'm installing it in VMware. So I will create the new machine So if you are a native installer, then you do not need to repeat these steps and you can skip to this time that you can see in your screen now let's quickly create this virtual machine so we can click on create new machine and then create typical now here we will choose install disk image iso and this time i will choose this bill number 21996 now click on next and we will select windows operating system and here we can see we couldn't find windows 11 so we will choose windows 10 x64 now let's click next and then again next then here you can specify the amount of disk storage and you can choose out of these two option let's choose this one and now we can click on customize hardware here you can specify the amount of ram let me provide 16 gigs so based on your system and the recommended memory you can specify let's say you have 8 gigabytes so you can specify 4 gigabytes now let's come to processor here you can specify the number of processor cores I have 12 cores so I may specify 4 and then here I want to set network connection at bridge and USB controller you can also check this option which says so all USB input devices and sound card is auto detected and display also make sure that you have enabled this option which says accelerate 3D graphics and now we need to click on close and finish now let's boot our window press any key to boot same you need to do with the physical machine now here we can see we have new logo of windows 10 windows 11 and now here is the setup so let's click on next and click on install now now as I don't have product key so I'm going to click on I don't have product key and here you can see I am so excited to see Windows 11 written here instead of Windows 10 and you can choose the version which you want to install let's say I want to install Windows Pro for workstations 
you can choose either of them based on your requirement and then click on next now you need to accept the terms and condition and click on custom and from here i can format my drive and here we can see windows have automatically created two more partition and we need to install windows in the partition of maximum size now we have clicked on next And now here we can see the entire change in graphics and it looked quite similar to Windows 10X which we have installed a few days ago. Now from here we can choose our country and then the keyboard layout. If you want to add another keyboard layout then you can click here on add layout and can add here. But I don't want to so I will go back and I will click on skip. And look at these animations, they look so modern and so new compared to other versions of Windows. Now from here we need to choose that how we want to use our system. So let me choose setup for personal use. And now here is the thing, you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have one then you can create it. If you don't want to sign in with your Microsoft account then you can click on sign in options and then you can click on offline account. After you click here, you need to click on limited experience for offline account. But I just want to sign in with my Microsoft account so I will click here on next and then I will sign it. Now if you want to create pin for your sign in then you can create pin as well. Then from here you can give access of location. If you don't want to provide access location, you can disable these options. Now this seems pretty similar, just like Windows 10. Actually this high word started with Windows 8. And here you can see this might take few minutes. Now here we can see we have successfully installed this Windows 11. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye.